Hi, Larry Gaines, PowerCycleTrading.com. In this video, I want to show you a trade setup uh, that we did today, PowerCycle Trading. So there are kind of basically five types of chart patterns I like to look for for powerful trade setups. And this chart pattern is what we call the retracement uh, reversal uh, failure pattern. So basically, if you look here, here's QQQ on a daily. So, you know, we had this uh, from the high to low. We had that low on the 21st last Friday. And then we had a retracement up yesterday, Monday, all the way to the 50 simple moving average. All right, so this is is the first area of resistance right here the uh, 50 simple up to the 275 so what we want to do is watch to see if that gets um, you know poked through or pushed through or breaks through for another move to the upside further move or if it fails and falters here and then that would be a really good signal for a potential rollback over and a, another short sell setup so a reversal a retracement reversal so it retraces here to the 50 simple moving average and then it fails okay so you can see right here where, where my chart my pointer is there, over here on this 30 minute chart what we do is we look for that key area of resistance that we got to yesterday. We close right here on the highs right there at 272 um, basically. So what we want to look for today is to see if this can be pushed through or broken out uh, above that 50 or if it starts to falter. All right so we use our momentum. You see cycle one and two momentum down here start to go negative. This is a 30 minute time frame. So the lower time frame started to go negative. So that's when we said okay well let's take a look. We'll probably set up a short trade. So the next thing is okay where, where are we going to set the short trade and where's going to be our target. So our target was going to be right down here to this uh, 262 level. This was the, if you look here, this is the weekly low. So right in here, this was last week's low. Now this dash line here is last week's closing price. So I was looking at this, uh, expecting it to probably break that 266. That'd be the closing price of uh, last week. And that would give us some more acceleration to the downside. So we set up a short trade right right here when it was trading the, uh, breaking the 268 level here. So no, knowing if it probably broke that high probability ability to break down below this 266 and sure enough it did so we set up just a, a put debit spread right there but then the great thing is we were able to convert that when on the sell-off to a free trade so let me show you the, the trade setup so the original trade today when it was breaking this 268 level uh, was to buy we bought the 25 September the 266 put sold the 262 so four dollar wide put debit spread at a dollar dollar one somewhere around that level is where pe everybody got in and then uh, it flushed down and when it was flushing down here to these lows this was up a dollar eighty, so this was up over eighty dollars per spread. But uh, what you want to do is take some profits here. But then, if you want to stay with the trade, you can convert it in this example to a butterfly. So when it flushed down here, it was trading on the lows. This uh, bull put credit spread, the uh, twenty five September two sixty two short two fifty eight long, was going at a dollar one. Now you can see it went at a dollar six. So it sold that short, and look what happens. The cost of the debit spread here was a dollar one. Sold the bull put credit spread a dollar one. So now we have zero cost in this trade, and we have a butterfly fly at zero risk. So tomorrow, if we get a flush down to this next target level of 260 um, into tomorrow, the 24th, this trade will be up about $88. If this was to go even further down to 262, it'll be up $98. And if we get a flush down here into Friday, the 25th, and it's still trading down here, so say at 262 or 264 at the close, we could be up over $200. At, if it's trading 264, and if it's trading 262, we'd be up uh, over 390. So a really great trade to to, to be aware of and then participate for bigger downside movements, but with zero risk. So if you like this trade setup, uh, join us. Make sure you join us this Saturday. We'll be going through a lot of different trade setups based on breakouts and reversals. Hope, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, good luck trading.